Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and for helping me build my new website, but more on that later. The world is made out of stories. Stories that allow us to travel through time, stories that allow us to enter the great minds of people like Nietzsche and Plato. We can go back thousands of years and learn about the human species and how we developed to become what we are today. What would it be like to go to a magical school and what can you learn from a seagull? What really happens during a financial crisis and what can hitchhiking through the galaxy teach me about life? Or simply just learning a language like French. Yes, I've decided that this is the year that I'm going to do so and I'm really excited. I have a few books ready. This one, I have this one as well, so we'll see how that goes. But really, there probably isn't anything that you wouldn't be able to find in a book somewhere. Now, sometimes we are just looking to better understand ourselves and to feel understood by someone else as well. And we just want it to be factual and straight to the point. And Susan Cain's Quiet gave me exactly that as it is the book about introversion. Why did I find a sudden urge to escape in the middle of a party? Why did one day of socializing come with three days of rest? And how come I was more of a listener in larger group, yet in one-on-ones, I could talk for hours? This was the ultimate, oh, that's why I'm like that kind of book for me. But I definitely don't think that it's one that should only be read by introverts. I think this piece should be devoured by any person because the importance of understanding not only ourselves, but others as well, cannot be emphasized enough. I mean, really, I think that's one of the fundamental issues with us human beings. We don't understand other people and we don't really make enough effort to even try because with understanding comes empathy and it just increases your emotional intelligence overall. Now, all those straight to the point books that are backed up by tons of research is exactly what I'm looking for at times, it's not always the place where I find magic. You know, the feeling of being sucked into a book and resummoned in that world, I find that in fiction because there's nothing quite as captivating as entering a world where there are no limits to what's possible. You know, the characters become your friends, you emphasize with them, you root for them, you might even cry when they hurt, and I've never felt this more strongly than I did when reading Stoner by John Williams. It's a simple story about a simple man, and some would even call it boring or dull, which to me usually means fun and exciting. And I read Stoner about a year ago, and I still find myself thinking back on it from time to time. It's the feeling of wishing that you could call up the author and ask them to please tell you more. And I can't exactly explain why it had such an impact on me. And honestly, I don't even think it matters why. It just did. Now, there are times when we want something completely different from what we would usually go for. And when it comes to art, everything from music to books to museums, I always try to push myself out of my comfort zone to try something I usually wouldn't try because each time that I have, I found something that I didn't expect to find. You know, sometimes something helpful, sometimes something interesting, sometimes something that changed or broadened my perspective somehow. And sometimes I find reminders that I didn't know I needed in life. And that's what I found in the book, The Little Prince. It's a tale about a boy who travels to different planets where he meets different people, each with their story. And it's a tale about loneliness and love and loss and friendship. And it's a children's tale, but I think it was C.S. Lewis who wrote that 
a children's story that can only be enjoyed by children is not a good children's story. Something like that. Now you know the kind of book that delves into the deepest parts of the protagonist's mind. The one where you get to enter their world and experience all the fears and dreams with them. That inner world of Harry Heller, the man who felt himself to be half wolf and half human in the novel Steppenwolf by Herman Hesse, pulled me in in a way that I can't quite compare to anything else that I've ever read. And it was strange and confusing and honest and romantic and dark. And it's poetic, which isn't strange considering the author did write poetry. But I think what captivated me the most was the way the thoughts of Harry Heller were written. You know, as it were thoughts that I've had myself, but that I've never known how to articulate. And it felt very distant, yet very familiar. I just think the author did a really great job with that. Now, depending on where I am in life and what it is that I'm looking for, I will turn to different books. You know, sometimes I want a story where the message is embedded deep somewhere and left for me to find and interpret myself, you know, where the author allows me to make their story, my story in a way. But then sometimes I'm just looking for something that resembles a quick yet impactful conversation with a close friend that I trust. And one book that gave me that was Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. It's short, it's sweet, it's fun, and in my opinion, a must read for any creative. You know, whether you're looking to get inspired or to get started with something that you've been thinking about for a long time, I don't really think that you can go wrong with this one. Now, as I said, sometimes I prefer to learn through stories that don't exactly pinpoint what the message is or what the lesson is, but rather that leaves it up to me to kind of find and interpret myself. And that's one of the reasons that I'm very drawn to fiction nowadays, and I very rarely feel like diving into anything non-fiction or self-help that might change, but that's how it is for me right now. But this next one somehow gives me the best of both worlds. It's psychology told through a real story, and it's one of those books that made me fall in love with reading all over again. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl is too quick of a read to not be read by everyone. It's less than 200 pages that left me feeling hopeful and grateful, you know, despite the horrific circumstances portrayed in the book. And it left me asking myself all the big questions in life, like, is what I'm doing meaningful? What does that even mean? And how does one even know? You know, it was a little bit of an existential crisis, but in a good way. Now, I find it fascinating how the world has changed so tremendously and so fast, and yet the wisdom of people who lived hundreds of years before us remains relevant in our lives today. You know, we have always sought out happiness and love and all those things. And we have always questioned our existence and mortality. And Marcus Aurelius explores all of that in Meditations. The Roman emperor who thought that he was just journaling, but who ended up having a big impact on a lot of people's lives. And this is not a book that you just want to rush through. It's one that you want to keep on your nightstand or on your phone and just go back to it from time to time, read a couple pages and reflect on it. You know, there's no rush. Now, some of these books are books that we have read in our book club. Yes, there is a book club on this channel. I will be leaving some information about that 
in the description box if you're interested in knowing more or if you would like to join. Now let's talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, I oftentimes receive messages from people who are artists or who have their own business or who are just starting out. And whenever I go to look them up, oftentimes there's nothing to look up. And I always think to myself, why don't they have their own website? You know, whether you are a blogger or entrepreneur or artist, having your own website can only do you good. And with Squarespace, you can make sure that website looks professional as you get to pick any one of their templates and have your site be just the way that you want it to be. And you can keep track of the traffic, you can connect your social media and so much more. You can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Lana Blakely to save 10% off your first purchase of website or domain. And I will leave the link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Now feel free to leave your book recommendations in the comment section and share how it impacted you. And I will see you there.